Hey Lunatics Collective, in this session you will choose your own readings by choosing one or more of the stacks that I already have grouped together for us here. Uh, this is a reading to tell us what we need to know right now. It has been inspired by the new moon in Libra that we just had yesterday but it can be for whenever you need it, whenever you find it, whenever it finds you. Uh, it is a timeless reading, uh, but of course it is um, post Libra new moon energy now uh, as this reading is being posted. It is still Libra new moon energy as I am recording, so that definitely is what has originally inspired these readings. So you can use a pendulum if you'd like to um, hold your own pendulum over the screen. You can just use your intuition to see which pile you feel called to. Uh, you might want to choose based on the stone. Reading one has uh, a tiger's eye. On top, there is a polished amethyst on reading two. Reading three has a polished uh, piece of obsidian. And reading four uh, has citrine on top. So again, you can choose one or more piles. Uh, use a pendulum, use the stones, your intuition, whatever helps you connect with your intuition most, whichever way works best for you, right? And uh, we'll go ahead and get started with reading one. So reading one is looking like it is all about brand new beginnings. I know this this isn't the kindest angle you've ever had of your cards and I'm going to uh, show them to you as we go. I am working on that slowly but surely. Um, and when I say brand new beginnings in this reading, it's, it's brand new mental perspectives, at least meeting brand new uh, mindsets and perspectives, faded new beginnings, new brand new life cycles, perhaps brand new lives for some of you, um, actually um, experiencing births around you, um, new material offers new material beginnings, new material opportunities, physical opportunities for wealth, for health, for security, right? Um, it looks like <clears throat> reading one, you are offered a gift from the divine, a brand new opportunity, again, for wealth, for health, um, a new home, a new job, a new physical routine, um, perhaps starting a new exercise routine, but you were inspired by something uh, from the divine, something around you. You may have been inspired by someone else's brand new beginning, brand new life cycle beginning around you, someone close to you, or their brand new life cycle may have somehow afforded you or en ended up offering you a new physical beginning in some sense. Your partner got a new job and so had to move home, so that means a new beginning for you, a new home for you possibly, right? It looks like some of you are going to have a choice to make in the future in that regard, actually. So for some of you, perhaps that decision hasn't been made yet. I see... Um, a significant choice for you in your life and and uh, lots of different choices and, and available pathways specifically in terms of love here in the future position so it may be because a partner was offered um, a brand new beginning st is starting a new life cycle by moving to a new place and starting a new job as I said uh, there actually may be um, sort of opposing or warring opportunities here, right? And it looks like, 
a destined opportunity is certainly on the table, as we said at the beginning. So this is either yours or, again, someone very close to you, like a partner, um, um, or if not a romantic partner, maybe a business partner, or someone, just someone who influences you because they're very close to you, right? And it possibly could be your own, but these are outside influences here. But whatever this brand new beginning is, it is faded, um, and someone is starting something brand new in order to take advantage of that faded opportunity. Uh, they are maybe maybe even being a little naive as they do so because they have never done this before, moved to this place, tried this job, etc. Whatever it is that they're starting, it's something completely brand new to them. And because it's like a, a whole major life cycle beginning for them, um, it looks like you're not really speaking up about the opportunity that you are considering. You feel like you already have a hold of a new uh, material, physical opportunity. You've been offered a new job where you already are or you've been looking at a new home, or perhaps there is a birth in the mix, right? You feel like the divine has already offered you and you are you are weighing out currently um, a, a, a physical opportunity, a material opportunity that you already have a hold of here. And it may be because somebody else's major life cycle beginning seems like a bigger opportunity or a bigger deal that you are almost living a lie in a sense at this time because you're not speaking up about it. You're not talking about what you want or about this other option or opportunity that you have. It's something that you feel is very promising. It is very secure. Again, it has been offered to you from the divine likely and it is likely very secure. Um, but if this is a romantic partner of yours, uh, maybe someone you're already um, entangled with as far as a marriage and a family, you may want to move with them for their, their um, seemingly larger opportunity because for for you it's maybe the start of a new salary a new job uh, a new home but for them it's like the new um, the new beginning the new start of all of those things right a job that moves them or they're starting a whole new career right something like that something that that's just one example but it, it, it there are there do seem to be multiple opportunities on the table and and you do seem to be keeping one of them close to your chest while there seems to be um one that looks like an a whole new life cycle beginning that is um that is absolutely fated to take place this new beginning is happening around you or, or maybe as another opportunity of yours, right? Maybe you're dealing with multiple ones yourself. I really sense that for a lot of you, it's you, it's your own opportunity and a partner's opportunity. And you're advised here to celebrate these things, um, to remember to really celebrate uh, all that you both have to be grateful for or everyone in this, this situation has to be grateful for. Instead of feeling torn or um, at odds with yourself or someone close to you because there's just so many choices to be made now um, where you have had wealth and security and prosperity and a secure home right a comfortable stable home in the past a peaceful comfortable happy home and family life even in the past here a a partnership that united your home celebrations and the wealth to support all of that now instead you have many choices maybe some confusion many different pathways that you could choose in terms of love as we said a significant decision that is a fork in the road in your life so where there's been security and stability in terms of love and the rest of your life career as well where there's been stability and security and and wealth and prosperity and peace and happiness and comfortability there is now opportunity and choices and chances and yes risks uh supported yes i think by the divine these opportunities are faded they are arriving in a timely you know divine timing in a timely fashion they have been gifted from the divine and so uh, what you're really advised to do here and reminded to do here is that again celebrate those things celebrate that move into the the future with with confidence this card reminds you um 
keep in mind that that again as we said these are gifts this is a time not for stress and to give in to that confusion maybe even to delve into escapism of some sort diving into fantasy or drugs or alcohol too much partying or just escaping making these decisions because if you don't make this decision in the future right then your circumstances or someone else around you is going to end up making the decision for you so it's definitely not a time to indulge too much in escapism there's life to be lived here there are brand new beginnings and opportunities to be taken advantage of and they truly deserve to be celebrated Celebrated, and I um, feel that you're being <clears throat> encouraged to celebrate those those new beginnings yes because you deserve to because they are worthy of that celebration but because um, that's what's going to help you figure out which direction you're going to go that's really what's going to bring the answer to you it's not going to be as confusing or hard as it feels like it is once you start to celebrate the fact that you've been gifted these opportunities it's going to illuminate itself it's going to become clear which direction is for you which opportunity you have to take um take advantage of take a hold of like i said the one that you have a hold of currently yes is um, offered from the divine it makes you feel very secure um, now if this is you having a child then um, that may be something that that is likely going to come to pass regardless of what other brand new life cycles are beginning in fact that probably is the brand new life cycle that is is that we see surrounding you here coming in this is probably the child's life cycle beginning but if it's not specifically a, a literal birth and literal pregnancy um, then I think it's important that you not squash your own truth, the own, your own opportunity that you've been gifted, that you've been given here, right? You need to live your truth, speak your truth, wield your truth, speak up for what, what you've been offered, what you're excited about, celebrate that opportunity as well. But ultimately I do feel that most of you are going to, um, uh, lean toward, beginning this brand new life cycle especially if it's with a a partner if that means a move and passing up on, a, on an opportunity for a home or a um or a new job where you already are and your partner is going to take you somewhere else and just start a whole new brand brand new life with you i think a lot of you are leaning in that direction and that's probably why you're keeping your truth your opportunity close to the chest at present um, some of you, it is that pregnancy that you're sort of sitting on and you're not speaking up about. Again, there's there's this element of feeling like you're living a lie and you do need to speak that truth. You do need to let that out. But with the Ace of Swords reversed, a lot of you may also need to shift your perspective. You may feel um, torn where, again, you should be celebrating that this is a time of stress or anxiety because you're choosing between an opportunity for you and perhaps an opportunity for someone else um, when really there's just a lot to be grateful for and a lot to be celebrated and so it's it's sort of just a perspective shift away for you to as I said just be grateful for what's coming in and it will become obvious to you how strongly you feel about one or the other opportunity and and which which direction uh, you clearly want to go as far as this fork in the road is concerned that you're you are going to need a, to make a decision about for a lot of you it's just about what you're going to do with skills that you have learned you have been earning and have been seeing a lot of raises or um, promotions a lot of wealth coming in as as a result of skills that you have earned uh, things that you have learned right and so if you do make a move if you do start something brand new um, some some of you are asking in a new place or at a new job on a brand new path how am I going to utilize what I have already been uh, learning what I have been already been earning with right so that may be the major decision for you if you are going to move with someone for instance what are you going to do there how are you going to use these skills to continue earning and that's something else that the three of water is also saying to you is to as i said head into the future with confidence and with this card showing in the upright you can be sure that you are going to continue earning that wealth these opportunities this abundance this prosperity is going to continue to come in if you continue to face that future fearlessly if you continue to face that future with the same confidence that's already been instilled in you with this by these skills learned 
well-earned uh, prosperity and abundance in this comfortable, peaceful, happy community, home, environment, family life that you have known. Look at these doors opening up, these pathways opening up for you, these opportunities, these choices. Look, look at them as that opportunities, fated, fortunate opportunities. That really is what it is when we see the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Pentacles both upright. These are fortunate, fated opportunities. Hopefully, you know, the same one. Um, but I, I really see it as the same one if this is a literal birth, a literal pregnancy and child. Then I think this is their life cycle beginning here coming in and you're just not ready to share that with, with someone in particular or a lot of people yet. But for others, it, it looks like you have your own opportunity. And it's not that it's not as great as as an opportunity that someone else close to you is presented with it's just that as i said that's a it's a whole new major life cycle beginning for them whereas um, opportunities like this for you um may come along again they're not um it's not the last time you'll be offered a new job or a raise and it is not the mark of a whole new life cycle beginning necessarily you're not trying something completely brand new unless you know unless you are unless your outside influences are also reflecting you here for some reason that would make sense to you if you know why um but in general i see these as outside influences someone else's major life cycle beginning and coming in and affecting yours as well causing the need for truth and or a perspective shift and for you to own that as I said yes you are you are grateful for the opportunity that you are being afforded as well whatever that means that may mean that you have to choose your opportunity over someone else's that may mean that um, the two of you head in different directions whether you're romantic partners or not or it may mean that you celebrate this opportunity coming in show gratitude for that are very proud of the fact that you earned it and you choose to go in a different direction right it does look like you will either be choosing to begin someone else's brand new journey with them as they start something brand new or um choosing something that is is completely mysterious to you so with that i hope the needed insight was able to reach you here in reading one um i i thank you so much for all of your support to lunatics tarot and all of the ways that you do help support me and the channel um and yeah i hope you're enjoying it this afterglow of the Libra new moon. I hope you continue to make wise choices for yourselves as you move forward. If you are interested in ordering a personal reading from me, just scroll down to the description box down below. You can find all the information and links you need there. And I will be sure to post another pick a card reading and session for us as soon as I can. And we will move on to reading two. Okay, reading two. I know this isn't the best angle of the cards you've ever had, but I will show them to you as we go. Reading two, of course, was for those of you who had the um, the reading, the, the stack with the polished amethyst on top, right? We've got the King of Cups showing up twice for us here, reading two. So uh, 14, 14 might hold a, an additional message for you if you're still looking for for um more messages pertaining to the same situation or subject matter after we finish your read reading you've got the king of cups actually as one of the cards in the center top center of your reading representing you and you're crossed with the the three of cups here this is you and this is mainly what you're dealing with. So a lot of celebrations, a lot of um, maybe partying, maybe heavy drinking, but certainly celebrating and rejoicing with, with people close to you, normally people who are very supportive, that care about you. Um, in this case, I feel like it's at least for the time being, um, people whose company you're, you're, you're certainly enjoying. Uh, some of you are overindulging just a little but I think it's because in the past your um, emotions have been blocked 
okay? You weren't able to do the expression, the work that you really love to do. You weren't able to, able to express yourself creatively fully here in the past, and you are presently. You weren't able to express yourself emotionally, and you feel like you are presently. So you are... Um, creating especially if you're you're an artist of some type right you're you're creating again uh, if you're a healer of any type uh, a counselor etc any type of, of healer really you you felt blocked emotionally and now you're able to to openly express in that work in that that artistry that creativity or that healing work right you're able to um I really see this being for, for artists, but artists of all types. And so that really includes healers to me as well. Um, and so I think there's, you know, there's, it looks like there's great cause for celebration. At the same time, in terms of your, your love life specifically, you are feeling burdened. You're feeling a heavy weight, a heavy burden. You're still feeling very dedicated to someone, whether you are with them or not. You feel like you have a lot of responsibility towards someone. And I think a lot of you are healing because we see that you need sanctuary and you need rest in order to deal with that burden, that responsibility, and that dedication. And I think that's why we see the five of air here in the reverse. The main message, your piece of advice is to let the mask fall off, to be open about how you're feeling in, in terms of your love life as well. Um, you see what it has done to your artistry, your healing work, your career, uh, your other relationships, your life in general, right? Uh, to, to have been so closed off emotionally here in the past. That's why it's, it's worth so much celebration at this time that 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 creativity or that healing work and your emotions in that way are able to flow again right but uh, in terms of your love life i think you don't want to reveal how you still feel about someone uh, you don't want to be honest or open um, about the fact that you're not over someone yet you still need some rest and sanctuary you still need a healing period to completely heal from this person which can certainly encourage this need this desire this tendency to overindulge to party a little too much i think you have a lot of communication a lot of excitement coming in maybe in terms of your work since that, that creative expression or that ability to heal has really turned around recently right those those abilities uh that artistry has started to grow again <clears throat> sort of has turned back on for you so maybe you're getting a lot of communication about work. You might also, it looks like, be getting a lot of communication about other people who are interested in you. But it, but it does look like group two, reading two here, that you're still feeling internally dedicated to someone who um, you're likely things aren't working out with. And um, and I think you you just need to be honest about that, that you're just in a place of healing you still have these feelings, they haven't completely gone away yet. It's it's really going to end up blocking you in other in other areas of your life, right? And I think that's why you're you're advised to let that out, to open up. That doesn't mean you have to tell everyone, but it, it's it's advised here that you you let it out to some extent. You you let it show that you are not um well, that you are human, right? I don't want to say that you're not at your best. We are all always healing. You're healing from someone, something specific in terms of your love life at this time. And it's okay to show that you are human. And and on the flip side, if it's someone else who uh, is still pining over you, and I don't think that's for most of you here, but maybe for some it's the other way around. It's someone else who's still pining over you. This does suggest that you try to be gentle with them. Um, it may be difficult for you to be gentle with them if it's if it's them who's pining over you because this may be someone that you were very dedicated to and you were very responsible with their heart but they weren't with yours and so that's why it has become a burden that's why your emotions were blocked it may have messed up your with your uh, messed with your work messed with your your healing abilities your creativity because it blocks your 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 heart chakra blocked your uh, open emotional expression right and you're just getting things back to good where you're feeling like you can do your your artistry again 
you're celebrating with your friends and now here is this person uh, being the one who's not over you that this card does advise you then to to try to be gentle with them to try to be understanding but I see why you're not you still need healing you still need rest and sanctuary in the future you are still going to need those things and so um, really the reading then in that case is asking you to try to be gentle with them to try to be patient to try to be forgiving to try to be very diplomatic and precise with your words um, something else that could be agitating you uh, around you. Uh, other people may be asking you to be very careful and precise in your dealings, both in work and love at this time, um, aside from just this reading, right? Others may be um, asking you to be very precise and careful with your actions and words in terms of these celebrations. Others may be starting families around you. Uh, making that that love life burden and healing that we see happening for you that much more lengthy and burdensome but that of course is is really a perspective shift what you have to certainly focus on in, in terms of the positive is the success that you are seeing in the future here continued success in terms of your work life because you have turned this expression completely around and because you are this upright king of cups at this time you absolutely have that diplomacy at hand where you can be very gentle and careful even with someone who has hurt you even with someone who has hurt you emotionally so much it messed with your artwork it messed with your healing it messed with your your uh, emotion and creation right you have that that ability to be very forgiving and diplomatic with them still that will only propel the success more and more which really is your your main positive focus for reading too so with that i hope you continue to make wise choices for yourselves as you move forward i thank you so much for all of your uh, contributions to lunatics tarot and all of the ways that you do contribute to me and the channel if you are interested in ordering a personal reading from me just scroll down to the description box below where you can check out links and all of the information that you would need to go ahead and order there Otherwise, I hope that you continue to enjoy this afterglow of the Libra new moon, and I will be sure to post another pick a card reading for us as soon as I can. I look forward to it. Okay, it is time for reading three. Reading three um, is the one associated with the polished piece of obsidian here. Reading three, for those of you who chose this reading, it looks like it finds you in the position of a wise leader, a paternal figure, perhaps you are feeling very passionate about being a, a leader in your family as a parent. You see, this is a fatherly figure with children around him. So that especially is what comes to mind. Um, when I see it in this deck, in this depiction, the Deviant Moon Tarot. Um, <clears throat> but also when I say in the position of a wise leader, perhaps you are the boss at your job, at your place of business, your work, or you are the leader because you own your own business. You're in, you may be an entrepreneur of sorts when I see the King of Fire, or you may just be feeling very passionate about someone or something, perhaps a passion project specifically, and I do see that in your, um, your, your external outside influences, what's, what's really affecting you that's around you at this time. It looks like someone around you has all of the tools that they need to manifest something. And it, and it looks like it is an association with a passion project or whatever it is that they're trying to manifest. I do think that there's some intense, uh, maybe fast, uh, passionate communication with you about that, right? So for some of you, that is in terms of um, someone who wants to partner with you in business, wants you to work for their business perhaps, right? Um, wants you to help manifest something with them. Uh, it, this could also be um, a birth, a child, because we do see a new, a brand new physical beginning on the table as well. And um, 
motherhood in the future here possibly with the empress we see a divine feminine energy not always motherhood but it is uh, possibly what we're looking at when we see the empress so for some of you it's someone communicating with you um, intensely passionately about wanting to work on a passion project with you um, you being able to see that 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 they have all of the tools then that they need um, if you were to sign on for that project, right? This is to work with someone who has all of the tools that they need to manifest that, which they are aiming for. Uh, but like I said, for others of you, we're talking more about family um, and, and maybe manifesting a family. And if this is a birth that we see, then this is actually in the recent past. Perhaps it's been, uh, the idea has been uh, considered, talked about, discussed, uh, um, maybe you have conceived the child in the past or maybe there's been an actual birth already um, for a lot of you it's just something that's on the table it's not a reality yet for some of you it's talking about both you know being passionate about your family and your work simultaneously and what we see here uh, for you reading three is that something has to come to an end and I think it is in order for you to take advantage of uh, an opportunity that you're you're being offered so again it could be uh, someone offering to to invest in your business or offering to let you work with them on a passion project right or it could be the passion project of starting a family but there's something in your life that has to come in and come to a close there's some sort of negative cycle that you've been engaging in uh, it seems likely that you'll know what this is representing and it may be a painful ending to close this negative cycle out to bring this to a complete stop um, and yet it looks like it is happening and and likely in order for you to take advantage of this new physical opportunity and beginning that's coming in it's likely something secure likely something that is a fortunate opportunity handed to you from the divine that is um, something that you can grow that will offer you stability and more security even in the future if you choose to water this seed of an opportunity right uh, but yes, I do think that something has to come to an end and it may be difficult in order to end that for you to take advantage of that opportunity. But, but again, you're really influenced by this passionate communication, the passion that this other person has for this passion project. You're, you're, you're deeply influenced by um, the fact that looking at this, this other individual, this manifester, that, they, that you know that they do have all of the tools that they need to manifest what they're aiming for, right? Um, you feel really passionate about that and intense about that as well. So it's, it'll be different for everyone, obviously, what the negative cycle is, what the painful ending is that, that is happening simultaneously here. Regardless where we see this seed of opportunity in the past, in the future, we see that empress energy again that divine feminine energy we see someone nurturing something we see someone creating something birthing something brand new into the world so maybe it is specifically motherhood for some um, but for others it's birthing that creative project into the world it will be a reality you do have to water the seed and then you will have to nurture the project once it is more of a reality right so I see you choosing to take advantage of the opportunity is what it looks like. Um, and in I, don't, I don't think for most of you that this painful negative cycle that's ending has to do with your love life. Now, maybe for some of you it does, but what I see in terms of your love life in reading three is that um, perhaps some of you were involved with um, an air sign, an Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra energy, um, but certainly you were involved with someone that you had uh, you shared honesty and truth with um, you have been I should say involved with someone uh, that you see honesty and truth with or you or that you have honesty share honesty and truth with or you have been in a state of, of waiting for and manifesting that type of, re of a relationship right some of you have just been uh, really elevated and guided toward uh, prioritizing having honesty and truth in a relationship and knowing that that's the type of individual, the type of pairing, the type of um, 
relationship that you were you were looking for that you were holding out for you could um, likely see the truth of anyone who, any potential suitors anyone who was making offers to you that seemed interested or who you were interested in right um, maybe even had to cut some of those people out in a way because you could see that they didn't want the same type of relationship or the same things as you right for some of you just a lot of honesty and truth and clarity precision in your choice of who you're with in your reasoning why um, a lot of deep and and again clear um, um, knowing within you about others people other people's characters the other suitors or the one person that you have been involved with right um, and where you have seen this truth and honesty um, you've had this real uh, clarity and logic when it came to uh, who who you were with or who you wanted to be with and why right now in the future you will see uh, expedited progress in those matters in that relationship taking the next step or perhaps in um, finding that that right person you will have many new suitors there there will be a lot of communication a lot of energy and those that you choose to put your energy into those connections or that relationship right that you choose to put your energy into that is where you will see your results and i see results coming because there is a lot of energy being placed there there just is um and that it makes absolute sense that you've been able to see clearly the character of either who you were with or who you wanted to be with and either because you knew that you would settle for nothing less than than that honesty and truth or because the two of you were already sharing it right now there is this progress now you attract to you many suitors who want the same thing or you make progress within that one relationship where you were sharing that honesty and truth right so like i said for most of you the painful negative cycle that has to come to an end uh doesn't look like it's really about um your your love life for most of you for most of you instead what it seems is ending what it feels like and looks like this negative s cycle is 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 ending um or what is coming to a close with that negative cycle i should say what this this ending is about is um for a lot of you uh, a lack mentality thinking that you don't have enough um thinking that you don't have the ability to manifest more feeling sort of lost in a sea of people within your community your world your work your family your friends um and at the same time feeling attached to those people right because some of you have had like a brotherhood or a sisterhood within um, your community, your family, your, your friend group, your workplace or something. And so you wanted to remain attached to that, that sort of that sense of camaraderie, right? That brotherhood or sisterhood. And yet those weren't the best um, people to have around you because of their lack mentality or mindset and that rubbing off on you, their negativity, uh, their um, acceptance of a certain lot in life and and expecting you to be the same way just sort of assuming that you couldn't manifest more you couldn't do different things um you needed to focus on what you needed to get what you didn't have rather than focusing on um the abundance that was already around you which is absolutely what your advice is here um yeah, and I think you're going to come to find that you're not, some of you are going to come to find that you are not too old to do what you really want to do, to participate in the work you really want to participate in, to um, create what it is that you want to create, whether that is a passion project or a child or whatever else it may be, a new career, a new life in general, or any aspect of your life. You're not too old to take, take this next step. I think some of you are going to, to put an end to the cycle of, putting your your family or that community that group um, ahead of yourself putting it before you I think those were very pure intentions that was a very pure love that you had for those people but you're seeing how it's wearing you down and how your your mind and emotional body and spirit and and even your physical body really need your attention now where you've put a lot of people ahead of yourself so you're you're bringing it into a cycle of not showing yourself enough love in many ways not 
letting yourself feel like you deserve to be pam pampered, like you deserve to be taken care of first and foremost, like your health, your physical health deserves to be prioritized and putting an end to the cycle of not also treating again, your emotional body and your spirit at the same time by, um, by allowing yourself to engage in passion projects that you may have been telling yourself uh, you couldn't make manifest into to something real or profitable that you were too old to participate in, right? Um, so those are the things that are coming to an end. And, and above all else, because it is your advice card, you're, you're really advised to see the abundance that is already around you, all that you already have. Just the fact that you see someone around you um, who is able to manifest all of the things that they want and it, or it may be an Aries who who you're working with or involved with right but for a lot of you it is seeing someone who has the ability who has all the tools to manifest whatever they want and so the ability to right might suggest for a lot of you that you feel you don't and when you see the abundance card it's telling it's telling me that you have a lot to be grateful for and we all do this right you have a lot to be grateful for that is being taken for granted to some extent um, that you should show some love for and and it's above all else this card is asking you to mainly do that through creating abundance helping to create abundance at least right for other people by giving away some of what you have by making sure you make use of the extra that you may get rid of right um, to give any extra leftover to charity to not uh, dismiss that opportunity to be giving and generous just because it's something that is for lack of a better word trash to you right um, even if that's all you have to give and some of you have even less than that to offer you you've done all that you've, you've taken all of the extra somewhere and now really all that you have left is your time and your energy and your prayers and your um, healing energy and and just listening your shoulder right um, your support that you can offer to other people um, and there's a balance to be found here because at the same time that message did come through that some of you have been giving too much to others uh, in terms of um, allowing yourself to be run down or worn down or not have the the me time the the um, uh, appropriate exercise meditation or meal prep time that your body truly deserves in order to make time for other people and put others first especially if you have a family right so there's a balance to be found here because you don't want to lean too far in that direction either uh, that's something that's coming to an end but but um, the more you are able to be generous and giving and charitable with others the the more you will you will begin to recognize the, the abundance that you already have around you. And you cannot take that to the to the extent of depleting yourself, right? That is um, not the best version of yourself that you can offer those others that may need your, your support more than anything else anyway at this time. But that is mainly what I see coming through for you if you chose reading three as your reading or one of your readings. I hope that the needed insight here was able to help that you can uh, make time to see all of the abundance around you in Libra season in general and, and um, moving forward. I, I uh, again, was inspired by the new moon in Libra, but these are timeless readings, so these could be finding you at any time, actually. Um, so for the rest of whatever season you're in and, and moving through, forward through the rest of the year, right, to continue to, to see all that you have and how much you can give and how much you can offer to others if you are in a state where you have been uh, properly nourished yourself and what you can create when you are in a state uh, of having properly nourished yourself in every way, right? Mentally, spiritually, physically. So with that being said, um, I think we will go ahead and move on to the next reading. I uh, will definitely post another pick a card reading for you uh, just as soon as I can. Um, I hope that uh, you all will um, check back for the next pick a card and um, also, you know, choose a different, a different reading for you um, if one of them didn't resonate, right? And make very wise choices for yourselves as you move forward. Okay, reading four. This is the group with the citrine that had the citrine on top of the stack. Um, 
There is a lot of Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here. The page, queen, page, knight, and queen of cups all showing up. Uh, there are, uh, that's at the center of your spread too. And there are, there's also a lot of Taurian energy showing up, possibly Cancer energy, Libra energy, yes. But um, especially specifically in terms of your love life, I, I see mostly, mostly Taurus for a lot of you, but any of those signs may resonate. I wouldn't get too hung up on them, right? As usual. Um, what I see first and foremost, and I know this isn't the kindest angle of the cards, I'm going to um, hold them up for you as well. But what I see here is two offers in the center of the reading. Um, so a lot of you are very enveloped in your dreams at this time. Your dream life is very active and you're sensing and feeling that your dreams uh, have a lot to offer you at this time and you're correct they are trying to offer you pearls of wisdom at this time um, and and a lot of it I feel is stemming from your own gratitude um, and some of you I, I think that those of you who are resonating with that part of the message are um, seeking wisdom uh, needed insight from mystics i mean as you're doing here in readings yes but also some of you are are engaging in a mystic like career of your own mystic work of your own working with the cards on your own some of you are um counselors artists of any type healers of any type right when i see the queen of cups and that's work that your your um your dreams are are nudging you toward right your dreams in some sense are nudging you toward, right? That's um, maybe work that your that those pearls of wisdom would help you to 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 do. Now, for others, what we see is is two offers, um, and and these people are actually making offers to each other. Though I, you know, in this particular version of them know they are not facing each other but still some of you are making a timid and shy offer of love and emotion um, to an audience to clients or to a person it could be romantic for you and and this person is returning it is reciprocated you're both reaching out and making an offer of emotion of love so you and those you are doing work for if you're a, a healer an artist as I said a mystic maybe of sorts or or between you and another person who have an interest um, and I do see that in your love life it looks like you are either feeling like a divine feminine counterpart for someone or like you are with a divine feminine counterpart right so for those of you who aren't uh, don't actually feel like you're in that type of a union where you have met your match you uh, have found the divine feminine for you or the divine masculine who um, you can truly equally be the divine feminine you feel like with um for those of you who aren't within that partnership at this time i do see a commitment here in the future for those of you who already are i see a deeper commitment coming here in the future um for for a lot of you a lot of you are um Engaging in motherhood more than being a lover at this time with the Empress showing up in your love life A lot of you are feeling um, or whether you know it or not are very fertile at this time ready for motherhood And you see the mother looking over toward this this deeper commitment in this case This is also noted as beauty and abundance this version of the empress so i think as i said it is your own gratitude and appreciation of the beauty and abundance around you that is winning you sort of winning you these these pearls of wisdoms that wisdom that are coming to you uh likely for a lot of you in your dreams especially if you've been thinking about that um, again a lot of pisces energy as you're also encouraged to listen to those dreams and to that that into intuition that those intuitive knowings that are coming through at this time and the shaman the other the future of your love life is actually noted as divine wisdom and spiritual power um in this case and so there is a deeper commitment I see coming. It may not, it may be a, a contract, it may be um, a wedding, a marriage, a commitment that is um, labeled, but it may just be on a spiritual level, right? Um, that the two of you are um, 
perhaps <laughs> perhaps those are the the um, messages, the pearls of wisdom that you are getting in your dream or is about this love or about these offers. Perhaps you're seeing this person a lot in your dreams, connecting with them on the astral plane a lot, as it were, right? Um, and, and so, yeah, and at least in a, a spiritual way, um, if not also in, in a physical, verbal, and, and sort of labeled type of way, I do see a, a commitment on the horizon um, here in your future position, right? Now, yes, there is a disappointment, a heartbreak even, pot potentially, a miscommunication, um, or, or as we said, just a disappointment on the table, but this it looks like it's it's outside of your love life for, for most of you. There is um, some sort of, potentially some sort of false or unrequited love around you, but these are outside influences, right? Um, so the message is going to be slightly different for everyone in this one, but for a lot of you, there's someone around you who's dealing with this, an unrequited or false love, or someone who just doesn't want to open up, someone perhaps that you are trying to make an emotional type of offer toward who is not reciprocating, who is not responding. Um, they're just sort of closed off. It's likely that this person is very focused on work. Um, on work that does pay, but also may be repetitive and monotonous for them, may not be their favorite thing to do or the favorite part of what they do, but that's just where they're sort of burying their head, so to speak, right? And I see you continuing to be kind and generous and open with this individual, even if they are very closed off. Um, if you are the healer, the creative, the mystic of, of, of any sort, trying to help this individual who is closed off, uh, who is emotionally shut down, or who, or who is potentially dealing with an unrequited or false love in their life, uh, it looks like you do continue to be very generous with them, as I said, and offer either your services or your support, your emotional um, presence, right? Um, and it may, may be... Um, It may be that it, it, whereas you have made that offer willingly and yes, generously, and it was very well intentioned in the past, that the way to help them, the truth that needs to be revealed to them in the future is disappointing. It's hard for them, and so it's heartbreaking for you to, to share with them. Uh, someone here may need some tough love, um, a real look at who they're with or how they're spending their time in their life uh, or why they're so shut down. Um, why they shouldn't be um, maybe spending as much time or energy on um, on a false a false love and unrequited love. There may be some because you know you do have this divine wisdom and spiritual power from the perspective of your love life. Whether you're with someone or not, you're ready to be. You're certainly ready to be. You may be in this in in a a. a very harmonious beautiful abundant spiritual union already and if not you're you're okay with the fact that you're not right you either are or you're on a path toward it and and you're completely content as an individual and that's why you're on that path right and so from your perspective either having found that union and been through the trials that you had to, to go through to get there or from the perspective of someone who is completely content alone and is you know just living out their path, appreciating the abundance, being grateful for all that they have before they reach that that union, right? That perspective is one where you can share a lot of truth with someone else who, who's dealing with, you know, feeling closed off maybe because of that false or unrequited love. I think it's just going to be very difficult to do so. Now, for some of you, it is possible that you are making an offer towards someone who is a false unrequited love for you and uh, um, they're not going to be responsive, they're going to be burying themselves in work, and um, it will turn out that the offer that you or they made um, in the past does actually come, come to, to a point where um, it's heartbreaking for you, you find out either that there's someone else involved or that um, there's someone else involved in the sense that their work is like the person that they're with, right? Um, for some of you, I feel for most of you, it's someone around you that you're trying to help. But for a lot of you, um, but uh, I mean, for a few of you, some of you, it could be you. And this can be a transition from thinking that you either have the the divine 
feminine counterpart you want to be with or are embodying someone else's divine feminine counter counterpart um, this could be a transition to instead making a deeper commitment to yourself and um, as I was just talking about before realizing that you're content on your path alone knowing what it is that you want to be headed toward no you know the type of relationship that you want the um, type of emotional availability that you require that's just for a few that's a different way to read the spread um, that's just for a few of you though I mostly see I see the first message coming through a lot stronger but I do see both there and intuition is your um, advice card here from the dreams of Gaia Tarot and a few things that the guidebook mentions about your advice card um, is that it's about intuition being your sixth sense it's about listening to the voice of your unconscious mind and it really is telling you to heed your intuitive feelings at this time so about whomever you may be involved with if there is some question there or about uh, how much truth to share with that person and how to share that truth with that person that you're trying to help if it's actually someone around you who's dealing with that unrequited or false love situation. And I'm so sorry if it is you yourself, for some of you it will be. Um, and again, then this is talking about making a deeper commitment to yourself and honoring the, the intuitive knowings and warning signs that led you to to the, to the point or that lead you to the point where you realize the truth about the situation, right? Where you can't deny it. Um, it also reminds you though to be both intuitive and rational not to ignore you know rational knowings rational facts that are available to you in the name of listening to your intuition right that's sort of misusing it <clears throat> sometimes you do need to seek an, a, a second opinion if it's a matter that you feel you're too close to if it is your own relationship and you feel that your intuition is clouded this card also reminds you to seek a second opinion when when your intuitive knowing is that you need an outside perspective an observer's opinion right it simply says pick the option that feels right sometimes that is the way to make your decisions And it asks, it asks you what your intuition is and, and, and urges you and nudges you to define it for yourself. What it says about it is that it is a knowing or gut feeling that you experience without fully understanding the logic or reason behind the feeling. It might defy rational thought or explanation, but you want to trust it nonetheless. Intuition is a bridge between conscious and unconscious minds, between instinct and reason. It is your unconscious mind communicating with you. It can come to you in a flash of insight or feeling, or you can have an intuitive experience within a dream or a daydream. So a lot of you, as we said at the beginning, you do need to listen to those dreams, to those daydreams. Why did you ask yourself, why did your mind wander off there? Um, it entertain at least the fact that it was your intuition um, trying to tell you something right not to obsess over those thoughts or insist that each one is something profound but just to question is that is that my intuition trying to tell me something and there is no harm in asking especially if you can answer no never mind and let it go right but but it's asking you to ask that question more at this time Some of you um, really need to listen to your intuition at this time in terms of creative endeavors. Yes, about lovers, um, rela loving relationships in general, uh, sharing truths with others, especially about their lives, their relationships, right? Um, but some of you, what I see is you making a premature offer, um, an emotional offer, an expression of... Um, creativity or again healing artistic or healing work toward um toward other people toward those that you are working for or who you are you know creating for right and ultimately being disappointed because you've offered maybe too much of yourself of your time right um and and a, a good way um to navigate that space where you are creating and wanting to create all the time and, and needing to find balance between that and what you need for yourself and what your limitations are as a, as a creator or a healer or an artist of any kind, right? Um, 
your intuition should really be involved in that in that process it says here it's knowing something needs to be done not knowing why it needs to be done but trusting and doing it anyway why because our intuition provides solutions um, so maybe you know if the path doesn't seem clear on how you can possibly create all that you've promised or want to or intend to um, and you don't, you know, you want to avoid this, the disappointment of letting down anyone that you've made promises to in that respect or yourself, even your own, you know, the, your own um, expectations of the schedule you've set. Um, listen to your intuition about what needs done first, what needs done right now, what is most important, what to spend extra time on and what to let go um, when, when things aren't clear in the details or how, how exactly you're going to fit everything in, right? There may just be a nudge um, to, you know, concentrate more on one certain aspect of your, your artistry or your project, and you can't really explain why, um, and then you don't see why until weeks or months or however much later, right? So that's what we mean. Like, just go ahead um, and, and let your intuition guide you through that, that process. It says it's very easy to dismiss the intuitive feelings and thoughts that come to us, but your sixth sense is no different from your other senses. It is there to be used, and incorporating it into your everyday life will only enhance it. And that's the thing. It's just one of many senses, right? So again, we don't want to ignore any rational knowings because of our intuition, but at the same time, um, it is just as equal, you know, um, as far as being one of your senses. And for some... Um, for some, it weighs in more heavily than for others, right? It's, a, it's also how much you lean on that tool is about uh, knowing yourself as well. There's a, a little more I'd like to read to you from this card. It, it's also saying that it is time to learn how to strengthen your intuitive abilities in order to enhance your decisions and guide your actions in the future. So for those of you that haven't been connecting with it, with it, the card as much and, and haven't been feeling like that's something that you already lean on um, with dreams and the queen of emotion, the queen of water showing up and intuition, um, if those and the empress and the Knight of Cups, if those aren't tools, if that's not a tool that you've been leaning on heavily already, then the cards, the reading, the cards are saying, the reading is saying, it is time for that. Your work needs that. Your love life actually looks um, exquisite, which suggests to me that you use those intuitive knowings when it comes to your love life or your personal inner world, what you want in a partner if you're not with one, but not as much when it comes to your work and, and it's time to. It's time to. So certainly if you've been questioning whether or not you should be doing mystic work or intuitive work, uh, emotional work, again, counseling or um, healing of any kind, artistry, creative work of any kind, if that's been a question in your mind, then yes, the reading, the cards are screaming that it is time for that to be part of other parts of your life as well. And I mean, it speaks for itself. You can see how um, complete you feel in terms of either the partner you're with or the, the single status that you are showing gratitude for and enjoying the abundance of, right? You're in a good place, whether it's with someone or alone, when it comes to your personal life and you do as I said it looks like allow your intuition into that space already so um, when you allow it into other parts of your life more your work your passion projects your other relationships um, it will absolutely be just as fertile there create just as much growth and abundance in those other areas when the intuition card appears it signifies a need to observe listen and learn Expand your mind and your experiences. The more you know, the more experiences you have, the more sound your intuition will be. Although it may not seem glamorous, intuitive decisions are founded in knowledge and experience. The more practiced and knowledgeable you are, the less you have to think about a process. A skilled artisan has become so adept at their craft after decades of doing the same thing that they can make intuitive decisions regarding their work without any conscious thought or effort. To someone observing them, they would appear to just go with the flow, and in many situations, they are doing exactly that. They are trusting their gut, heeding intuition. However, 
their intuitive decisions while being made unconsciously are based on their their decades of experience and the knowledge they have accrued over the years. Experience and knowledge strengthen your intuitive abilities. To strengthen your intuition, you do need to observe more, learn more, experience more, but also sometimes you have to think less. So that is what I see coming through for you reading for. I hope that that uh, advice, the needed insight there was able to reach you all, that you are able to grow and hone this intuition more and more, make instinctive gut decisions regarding the work you're doing, especially as the guidebook was just saying, in terms of things that you have practiced that you've already been doing for many years. Um, it's, it's definitely time to, to trust your gut more about those things or invite that type of... Um, that, that type of decision making into your work, right? Uh, to do a kind of work that requires that intuition and that gut uh, to start the process now if you're just starting uh, so that in many years, those, those, uh, that type of work will be intuitive and instinctual for you even more so as well. It's time to start growing it. It's time to, to start or to make a deeper commitment to that as well, just, just like the one I see coming in in your love life. So reading for group four, um, I hope that you continue to make wise decisions for yourself moving forward. If you are watching this just after the Libra new moon that actually inspired this pick a card, I hope that um, you all continue to enjoy the afterglow of that, that energy. Uh, but whatever season you're in, um, continue to, to hone this intuition and to show gratitude for all that it affords you, right? Uh, I will post another pick a card reading for us just as soon as I can. Uh, feel free to let me know what, what type of pick a card you'd like to see, perhaps, if you would. Um, I think I already told you at the beginning that information on private readings can be found down below in the description box, um, as well as my email address, lunaticstarot at gmail.com. You can get a hold of me that way as well. Thank you so much for all of your support to Lunar Tarot, and I look forward to doing another one of these readings for you.